Hi, it's Dwyer. It's Friday night, the night of the fight. Shakur Stevenson has just been awarded a unanimous decision. Over Robson can say so. Let's talk about it, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just say, full admission here. The Apple Plus movie on Sidney Poitier recently dropped, the one done by Oprah Winfrey. It's Friday night here. And so, as you can imagine, when it came to a vote, I got outvoted in my own family. They're in the next room. And Sidney Poitier was on TV. So I had a tablet with YouTube TV on it watching the Robeson can say so Shakur Stevenson fight, and I did not have the volume on. Right? So while I was doing that, my seven year old wanted to read to me, right? That's the way kids are. They see you are looking at Sidney Poitier, they see you are looking at the fight, and they want to read a book to you. Okay? So I was distracted. I'll be the first to admit it. So my view on this fight isn't a view that one would have if, um, you know, I uh, had my full attention on the fight, right? I admit I was looking at the fight from time to time. I would glance up. I was looking at Sidney Poitier and Oprah Winfrey, right? And from time to time, I would look at, you know, a picture book with my daughter. Now, I saw that Andre Ward did not give... Robeson can say so around. I saw that the scores on BoxingScene.com, who are some of the best online, right? Again, that's BoxingScene.com, only gave can say so one round, right? They scored a 10-8 because Shakur Stevenson got frustrated and threw can say so to the canvas, right? And got docked around. Okay, fine. That's not the fight I saw. Now, I understand I might be the only person who has this point of view, but that's not the fight I saw. Now, first, let's do some housekeeping, right? I'm convinced based off the hand speed, based off the power, and there was a hand speed and power gap in this fight, Shakur Stevenson likely beats Lomachenko, right? Stevenson does outstanding body work. Let me also say, too, he is forced in this fight. I don't even think it's his idea. He's forced in this fight to be on his front foot, right? He is chasing a ghost. He's on his front foot, and while he's on his front foot, he's just showing you too much accuracy and power, right? His nickname, quite frankly, should be the sniper, right? We should be calling him Shakur Stevenson, the sniper, triple S. Well, just to understand, he's so accurate and he's so good to the body that I don't know how a Lomachenko would be able to avoid getting hit with devastating shots. And Stevenson, and I get that Stevenson is coming up in weight from 130. He would be fighting Loma at 135, Right? But Stevenson is the harder puncher. Right? So Stevenson against Lomachenko, when you have a guy this accurate, who is this sudden, who's just too young and too fresh for these guys over 30, right? If the fight is anywhere close to New Jersey, right? In other words, if it's in New York City. I think um, any hometown preference given to Stevenson is going to lead to him winning on the scorecards. If you like his style of fighting, he might win by several rounds. But let's talk about where he ran into trouble here. And he ran into trouble, right? I need for you to underline Conceso's name. Right, he was going off at a nine to one and ten to one underdog in this fight. The fight went the distance. 
Now keep in mind, Stevenson's a southpaw. Canseso is right-handed. Canseso comes out. And while he cannot match Stevenson in hand speed or power, right? There's a certain explosiveness to Stevenson's game. I don't care how many KOs the guy has. Right, folks, he's sudden. But understand, can say so frames what he's doing better. Frames it. He also just knows the sport better than Stevenson. So he sticks his left hand out, and he just has it out lingering. He's not even pretending to throw a jab with it. He just has it out. It's kind of like a distraction. And it throws Stevenson off his game. Right? He takes Stevenson's straight left away from him. Stevenson actually has to box. Right? Let me also say, too, it looked to me, and it might have been the punches he was hit with, but it looked to me like can say so had a bad knee or something, right? He had a very wide stance, and it threw Stevenson off, right? He also was a master at spacing. So you'll see that he knew how to lean back and move away from quick Stevenson counters. And whenever Stevenson tried a quick counter on him, can say so would counter back. So, contrary to Andre Ward scoring, contrary to boxing scene scoring, the opening of this fight is so jarring, right? Seeing Stevenson unable to land quick counters on an opponent who himself is throwing body shots, who just seems to be able to draw your attention to what he's doing more than Stevenson can draw your attention to what Stevenson's doing. A guy who makes Stevenson look robotic, right? Stevenson starts to look like just a right hook and a straight left hand. I thought Can Say So takes the first three rounds of the fight. Now, you know what that means. If Can Say So took the first three rounds of the fight, Given that a point is deducted from Stevenson later, and given that Conceso wins at least another two rounds in the last six rounds of the fight, in my opinion, this was a close fight. It was what I call a location fight. Clearly, Stevenson's hand speed, his explosiveness, right? Again, he's the heavier puncher. The fact that he's on his front foot. The fact that it looks like Canseso has a poker face that's hiding pain that he is encountering because he's been hit with so many body shots. Right? Given all of that, I believe that if this fight was in a neutral location, it would be a toss-up. The fight I saw tonight when I wasn't dealing with my daughter and Dealing with Sidney Poitier in a great movie I completely recommend. Reginald Hudlin is behind it with Oprah Winfrey. Right when I wasn't distracted, the fight I saw was highly competitive. Now let me say this. There's a hardcore boxing fan I know who happened to be at the event. I'm not going to name him because I believe in confidentiality. But this guy, like Andre Ward, didn't give a round to can say so. Right? I'm just telling you, I view this as the toughest fight that Shakur Stevenson has had. I thought Shakur is frustrated. I thought Shakur is thrown off his game. Now, even thrown off his game, Shakur Stevenson has blinding hand speed quick counters, and, you know, he throws good punches to the body. His defense also is underrated because 
Canseso tries to throw some big shots. Big for Canseso. Canseso's not a puncher. And Stevenson, who's pretty upright. Right? Stevenson hasn't figured out how to hide his upper body. He's one of these speed guys who the speed is so blinding and he's so young. He's mid-20s. That he really hasn't had to put that upper body on a swivel. Right? But Stevenson was prepared for the counters. Right? Stevenson also very quick feet and reflexes. As Canseso would come forward, Stevenson, just on reflex, would jump backwards. His feet are his defense. And it's effective. Let me just say, and it's a bit controversial, I thought Canseso had his most success outside of the first three rounds, where, in my opinion, he's putting on a show against Stevenson. It looks like an old vet against a young guy with talent who's still learning the ropes. But I thought as the fight progressed, <clears throat> there's a round and a half where Canseso decides to come on his front foot. Stevenson's unprepared for it, right? If I'm Lomachenko and I'm looking at this fight, I realize I cannot beat Stevenson on my back foot. This is kind of like a corollary to Tyson Fury against Usyk, right? If I'm Loma, I realize Stevenson is just too fast. The reflexes are just too prime, right? Again, Stevenson, mid-20s. This is a young man's sport. Guys like Loma are in their 30s, as was Canseso, right? Stevenson has quick reflexes for people his age. When you compare him to guys in their 30s, oh my goodness. I don't believe Loma would be able to completely deal with Stevenson's hand speed, especially if Stevenson goes to the body on Loma which would cut down some of Loma's speed, right? You try to hit Loma in the head, that's hard. Loma's kind of smooth with it, right? As Sam Langford used to say, kill the body, the head will follow. Right? This Stevenson, with a body attack, I believe, would slow Loma down. Right? Make no mistake, too. Stevenson has sparred with Devin Haney. I believe Stevenson is a big threat, to the powers that be at 135 pounds. But the guy he fought tonight made him look robotic at least early in the fight. Understand, too, the colors didn't favor Stevenson. Fighters need to think about this. Stevenson's wearing black and red, right? Okay, okay, great. You know, black and red, nothing wrong with those colors. Right? The color black you associate with, you know, hunters, hardcore hunters, Jack Dempsey, Mike Tyson. Stevenson is not that. Well, understand, can say so who's a pretty boy, right? Makes you miss, frames everything for the judges. Right, hits you with counters that are really slaps, but the point is to show that you were defenseless for the counter. Right? He's wearing bright yellow gloves. You saw everything he was doing. It stood out a lot more than what Stevenson was doing. Now maybe in New Jersey at the Prudential Center. With Terrence Crawford in attendance and a lot of fans from Stevenson's past, right? Maybe that didn't matter that much. I'm just telling you, this fight was in Brazil. That would matter a great deal, right? Don't be fooled by the scorecards here. And I understand the judges had the fight wide. Right? I'm just telling you a different location, different circumstances. This same fight would have been scored differently in the comment section of this video. You tell me what scorecard you had. Now keep in mind, 
I had the volume off. Right? I had Sydney on the big screen. So I had the volume off on this fight. So I wasn't impacted in any way by the announcing. What I want is for you, the public, to tell me how you scored the fight. I don't know how, over the first three rounds, Stevenson could be judged to have done enough to sweep the first three rounds. I don't, uh, I don't see how that's possible. And I thought Canseso has a certain style to him that brings in attention, right? I thought he definitely looked more stylistic than Shakur Stevenson, who is a young guy and who's really more of a speed guy and suddenness guy than he is a stylist, right? As I said earlier here, I did not give Stevenson any of the first three rounds. Let me also point out, too, that Canseso shouldn't have been the huge underdog that he was. Right, folks? He went the distance. 9 to 1 and 10 to 1 underdogs shouldn't be able to. Let me also say, too, I was looking at the punch stat numbers that they had on the telecast. What fight were they watching. Canseso landed a hell of a lot more than the punches they gave him credit for. Let me close with this. On the undercard, I was looking at two fighters I'd never seen before. One of them was named LeBron. Right? Big name. Right? Big name. (laughs) One of them was named LeBron. That guy is special defensively, right? I was looking at him, and there is a lot of Pernell Whitaker in his game, right? He knows distance. He sets up an angle where it just looks like he's impossible to hit. It looks like he's too far out of the pocket, but yet he's able to just drop a foot, and land shots, right? He's a young guy I'm going to look at more. I was extremely impressed with his performance tonight. He got a decision, right? Boxing is a complicated sport. Offense is just part of the game. This guy, LeBron, is one of the better defensive fighters I've seen. Let me also say, too, that there are stretches in the fight where his opponent tries to get aggressive, tries to crash the pocket, tries to rough him up, gets inside, even lands a shot. Right? Look, looks like he hurts LeBron during the fight. And LeBron is able to just turn the tables almost effortlessly. Right? He's a guy who can just change the pocket at the drop of a hat. In other words, he's in front of you. You come forward toward him. Suddenly, he slides by you. He makes you pay as you turn around to try to catch up with him in the new pocket. Right? He makes the angles look like he's impossible to hit. That's the kind of young guy you want to keep an eye on. So as you look at this fight card, and again, I was distracted. A lot was going on in my living room. Right? If you're looking for a young fighter who has a lot of upside, who looks like he's a defensive wizard, who might be able to neutralize some of these offensive juggernauts in the sport, look at the guy whose last name was LeBron. Right? I thought that guy has a very bright future. To sum up, I thought the Conceso Stevenson fight was much closer than reported. Right? I thought Stevenson started to look robotic. I thought Stevenson looked frustrated. I'll agree. Conceso knew how to flop a little bit, right? Where when Stevenson got frustrated and tried to push him to the canvas, let's just say like an NBA player taking a charge. 
can say so knew how to fall down. Right? I'll agree with that. But you had a stylish here making Shakur Stevenson, who did look faster, who did look more accurate, who had great timing. You had a stylist making him look robotic, high strong, predictable. Right? I thought Conceição won at least, at least four rounds in this fight, minimum. If you were into his style, this fight could have been called a draw in a neutral location, could have gone to Robson can say so in Brazil. One man's opinion, I know on the scorecast, Ward did not give Conceição a round. I understand boxing scene had the fight by a wide margin, only gave Conceição one round. I understand the three judges, you had wide gaps on each scorecard. The decision was unanimous, right? That's not the fight I saw. I think... Shakur Stevenson is going to be much better for this fight. This was a much tougher fight for him than the Oscar Valdez fight. Quite frankly, in my opinion, this was a much tougher fight for Shakur Stevenson than any fight that Stevenson has had. That's how I saw it. Let me hear from you. I understand <laughs> I might be in the minority. Let's just say at 130, Robeson can say so remains a must watch, right? There's a portion of the public that's going to write the guy off. They're going to see this as a loss. They're going to look back to his fight against Oscar Valdez and not realize that that decision was a bit suspect, right? Can say so, and I understand he's older, and at these lighter weights, that age does matter more, but can say so is a stylist who's going to make nine fighters out of ten look bad. He fought one of the few guys in the sport who had a hand speed gap on him. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.